Good morning, folks. Looks like most of you watched last night's video. Good. Today we've got just two articles to hit, one on solar cycles and another furthering the concept that they don't know Nova. We also have a bit of space weather in the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flaring reached M-class range twice, but the flares were impulsive. Solar wind has calmed considerably from last week, but the magnetic field remains in a small reverberation from that geomagnetic storm. We've got more to watch for here in the coming days, and that starts with the flaring, which you see here. Our short-lived impulsive X-ray spikes, not producing much in the way of CMEs, faint and weak wisps only. You can see those flare flashes, most of which are coming from the southern active region sunspots, now heading for the limb. Likely to be more of those there. We also have the coronal hole beginning to reach central longitudes. Its magnetic connection to Earth is going to happen any hour now and begin the earthquake watch, while its solar wind is likely to arrive mid to late this week. We'll have eyes open for those. As I mentioned, statistics say most of you did catch this video last night. If you somehow did not, you can do so either here on our YouTube or on our Twitter page. Highly recommend to keep up to date on the main reason most of you watch this channel in the first place. First article today hits a variety of solar cycles. It touches on the longer ones of 11, 22, and 88 years, and also the Riger cycles that last only months. This is where the 5.9 month, three month, and quarter cycle of about 45 days come into play. If they hold true, the bigger flares won't return until the summer, one can hope. Lastly today, one of the best, Dr. Schaefer is back thoroughly and unequivocally debunking the magnetic braking model used to describe behavior in cataclysmic variable stars. Essentially what is being said is what we've shown definitive proof of several times in the last year. They really don't know NOVA from the causes of outburst activity to the nature of the systems that make them, including both significant NOVA events and minor brightness changes. We greatly appreciate your support, hoping to go live tonight around 6.30 p.m. Eastern, 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.